sit back and relax because the word of the Lord is going to be of a great plus to you through his servants. The reorientation of the kingdom as touching material things and financial things is this way. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God that should be your passion. Because everyone that seeks things, mammon possesses their soul. He said, the things that the Gentiles seek will navigate in your direction. If this is not the texture of what you preach at prosperity, you lied. You lied to the people. When you begin to become obsessed about the things that pertain to the kingdom of God, then God begins to fund you. Begins to fund the purpose that you are beginning to administer, that you are faithful upon. It navigates in your direction. And anything that you need to fulfill your divine purpose, it navigates in your direction. The moment you turn your back and begin to seek things, Mama, it will possess your soul. And when it does, it will give you a new outlook to life. It will give you a new goal. That goal will blind you to everything that is of God. You will still be speaking church language, but you are no longer for Jesus. Because the Bible says that no man can serve two masters. And he said it is impossible for you to serve God. And mama. what you serve is a proof of what you love if you find someone that is hooked on weed you can't get the person to leave weed if you find someone that is hooked on idolatry there is nothing more seducing like idolatry you check today say ah, make we check tomorrow What you serve, the key to your service life is your love life. And as you join in love, it takes you to the altar of sacrifice where your own will no longer features. What is the will of him that you serve that becomes your command? In that day, when you arrive at that point, if someone fights you, it's not fighting you as an individual because you've emptied yourself of your agenda attempting to fight you to so fight the will of god that's why god will step up and in a battle situation that's the safest place to be in the front line if you love me you will keep what my command satan is not that strong he's only strong around canal men Men that will fail to keep their watches. Men that will fail to press into the realm of the Spirit. Hallelujah. You will always be short of what is needed as a carnal man to access the things that make for your salvation in the kingdom of God. So I threw the towel. I said, I'm going to join you with God. Until I find him, I will be searching. And thank God those days we had no GSM phones. Nobody to call you. So life was straightforward. No distraction. Do you know how many calls entered my phone? If I had picked all of them, I will be an unbeliever by now. Sometimes you need to throw that phone away. Can you afford it? I know most of you can't. I know that God is in your... And is a mo and a shrine is in is on your hands. Be bold, be strong one day, off it, throw it away. Look for it after four days. May Lord help us. In Jesus' name. So are you there? But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. Stay with me. What's the name given to something that eyes have not seen? Ears have not heard. Something that has never entered into the heart of man. Not by learning. Not, not by imagination. It's just beyond your scope. It cannot be the product of your 
creative thinking. There are such things. And those are mysteries. No, they exist, but eyes have not seen it. But ears have not heard it. It has not by any means occurred to the heart of mortal man. Our God has prepared such things for them that love him. Next verse. But God has revealed such things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard, that are not occurred into the heart of man. He has revealed such things unto us, our entry point into the economy of mysteries, of sealed things, is the Spirit of God. So the question is, how much do you, do you know the Holy Ghost enough for him to reveal something to you? What is the experience of a revelation like? The meaning of your life will come out of a disclosure that the Holy Spirit happens to be the only chattered personality that can unveil. Your life itself is sealed. Your essence is sealed. Only the Holy Ghost can give you access into sealed things. Thank God for my pastor. He was the one that exposed me to the word of God. He was the teacher that I met. And he exposed me to prayer. Thank God for him. I mean my pastor in the village. He's in Zambia now. But he opened our eyes to the scriptures. And I was so hungry. As hungry as a tank. Because of the hunger. God had to take some of the teaching grace that was upon that man to be and bestowed upon me. So that when I study the scriptures, I'll be able to see the counsel of God. Hallelujah. In fasting, in prayer. Those were the days when I sit on the scripture by 10 p.m. in the night, I stand up 5 a.m. in the morning. Not one day, not two days, not three days, not four days, not five days, not six days, not seven days. So when I, I now started seeing that the average believer doesn't study his Bible. Because my pastor in the village was good with scriptures. Finishes his scripture, his Bible, twice every year. The man of the book. And we began to learn the ways of the Bible. A time came when I could only think in scripture. You don't need to say me this thing is a sin. Once you are saying it, my wiring. Because hey, it had entered. I, I, that was a blessing but there was a greater blessing I now met the author of the Bible called the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit I, I will tell you about him maybe in July the Holy Spirit which is the custodian of all the mysteries in the kingdom of God I have not seen Yes, I've not heard something that has never entered into the heart of man. Not by learning, not, not by imagination. It's just beyond your scope. It cannot be the product of your creative thinking. There are such things, and those are mysteries. No, they exist, but eyes have not seen it. But ears have not heard it. It has not by any means occurred to the heart of mortal man. Our God has prepared such things for them that love him. Next verse. But God has revealed such things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard, that have not occurred into the heart of man. He has revealed such things unto us, our entry point into the economy of mysteries, of sealed things is the spirit of God. So the question is how much do you, do you know the Holy Ghost enough for him to reveal something to you? What is the experience of a revelation like? The meaning of your life will come out of a disclosure that the Holy Spirit happens to be the only chattered personality that can unveil. Your life itself is sealed. Your essence is sealed only the holy ghost can give you access into sealed things 
do well to share this video to your loved ones, family members, friends, all around, so that the light of the Lord that has come your way will get to someone else also through you, and that through you will be a mighty blessing to others. God bless you so much. Thank you.